fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso! Nice work! Hey, you need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where you got him? Bronco was out the door. All bets were off. I had to keep moving. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Oh. 
You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. Just let it. Vocês aí, que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é, falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ai, ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufid, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. So I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! <laughs> I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Mm. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm! Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. Saúde. <laughs> Saúde. <laughs> <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Marcel, Marcel, 
I think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. Well, call him up, homie. I haven't I'm seen him for a while. Last week was Fashion Week. My God, Egypt's but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got him. Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. 
I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you're gonna do something. Come on, get the rifle back there. Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. This is not 
tá ficando vergonhoso? Ela não vale a pena. Temos a mulher do branco. Foi por isso que temos aqui. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? You had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Raul! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! <coughs> hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. 